Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at soul fragments. So I'm very excited to get into this topic. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. So as usual, everything that comes through is based off of my own personal experiences and my own psychic insights. So you guys can take what resonates and leave behind what does not. So this is really interesting because it kind of goes with the topic of walk-ins and I actually have mixed feelings on walk-ins. I'm not sure how much I believe in a walk-in soul versus actually an integration of the soul, okay? So let me explain to you guys. Basically what happens is we're born, okay? And basically the soul enters the body. And at that point, I almost wanna say that you have a full soul, right? Anytime you go through some form of traumatic event, traumatic experience, it's almost like a piece of your soul leaves, okay? And I'm not trying to freak people out, but it's kind of like what happens psychically, right? So what tends to happen is because a part of you has left because you've experienced trauma, right? There's a split in the person and this kind of goes hand in hand with some mental illnesses, but I'm not going to comment on those just yet. If any of you guys are interested in learning more about that, let me know and I'll make a separate video on that. But that's really what happens. So it's like the soul splits anytime you go through some sort of traumatic event experience. And the thing is, is like, we never know how a person is going to react when it comes to trauma, right? You can have two siblings experience the same traumatic event. Maybe one of them is going to be fine and the other one is not going to be fine and they're going to be very much affected by whatever that event was, okay? So that's the thing. We really don't know. We can't really like quantify and be like, this is traumatic and this is not traumatic and this person's fine and this person's not fine. It really depends on the person, right? Depends on their soul. Maybe they're a younger soul. Maybe they're more sensitive, right? And maybe something traumatic happens to them and it has a big effect on them. Whereas maybe if it happened to a sibling, that sibling is fine, right? Because it's like maybe they're an older soul or whatever it is, right? There's so many different things to look at. So that's the thing. So something traumatic happens to the soul and the person and then basically the soul splits. So an aspect of you leaves, okay? Now leaving this room for a gap. This is why a lot of the time, honestly, I personally like really stress the point of healing and doing inner work. Because anytime you're healing, you're reintegrating and bringing that soul fragment back into your body. This is why I'm really conflicted on my personal belief around walk-ins, okay? Because it's like, basically when people describe walk-ins, it's almost like they're being taken over by an entity, right? And it's kind of like, I don't know if that's a walk-in or if it's like, if it's more of a, like a high vibrational experience where it's like, now I'm a new person and whatever. And it's like, now I've been better and I have these new gifts and blah, 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 X, Y, Z. It's kind of like, I feel like it's more of a reintegration of the soul. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on whether I believe walk-ins are an actual thing or if you're actually experiencing a reintegration of your soul because so many soul aspects of you left through trauma throughout your life, right? So what tends to happen is when you are split, right? When you're split through these traumatic events, because you're not fully integrated in your body and there's kind of like this like gap, like a hole, I guess you could say. The best visual I can give you guys for this actually is in the Harry Potter books. I don't know if any of you guys are interested or if you ever read any of those books, but basically what happens is every time Voldemort takes someone out, a piece of his soul leaves, right? And he puts it into like the whole crux thing or whatever, right? So that's why he's immortal or whatever. Okay, that's an extreme example, but it, it's kind of like how this works. So it's like every time you experience something traumatic, an aspect of you has left, right? It's floating around, okay? It's, it's, it's not in your body anymore, so you're not fully integrated. So what tends to happen in these moments is when people are split, okay? They're not fully integrated, you now leave room for other entities to come through, right? This is why a lot of the time when something traumatic happens to a person, unfortunately, it ends up directing their whole life because they're not aware of it. So this is why healing is really, really important. And again, why I really, really stress healing when I talk about like the lower chakra wounds and the biggest wounds in the collective, because it's like a lot of these things are passed down through generation and generation. And then you kind of have generational trauma that's happening within the entire family line until it gets to the person that's like, okay, enough of this already. Let's heal, right? Let's heal the line and let's fix all of these issues that are happening, these patterns, these behaviors, all these sorts of things. So that's really what it is. Okay. So that's really what a soul fragment is. It's like an aspect of you left and now you basically have an aspect of you that's open. So this is why sometimes you have people with like split personalities because there's actually multiple entities that are operating through them because they're not whole, right? They're not whole. And again, I'm not trying to freak people out. You know, I don't want people going around and being like, oh, I'm not whole now, right? It's not that. It's just like something traumatic has taken place and you basically have to heal that wound within you so that you can go grasp that soul fragment that has left and integrated within the self. It's usually like the first thing that happens is certain people in certain places of power, okay, know this. That's why they basically orchestrate certain events to take place to basically traumatize people. That's really what that is. Because when people are traumatized and they're operating, you're brought into your lower chakras and you're brought into the wounding and an aspect of you has left, you're not thinking clearly anymore. You can maybe relate this to a moment in your life where you were like either in intense fear or in intense panic 
or whatever it is and it's like when you are in these moments you're not thinking clearly because it's kind of like you're shocked you're like you're there's a shock factor right so you're not thinking clearly and then you might make decisions based off of your reaction the emotional reaction in the moment and not actually thinking level-headed we want to get our emotions under control and we want to get our emotions on lock that's the whole thing to understand here that's actually the key to everything in my opinion healing integrating understanding your emotions understanding your triggers anytime you're triggered it's like the part of you that's being triggered is that trauma and sometimes it's going to take you a while to figure out what the trauma is Usually with healing, especially back in the day when I used to teach more in person, I used to talk about it as like peeling off an onion. Usually when it starts off, it's like you're kind of like externalizing. First of all, you're not even aware. Anytime there's like maybe a trigger, okay, maybe you're not even aware there's a trigger that's happening, but that's that soul fragment, okay, the aspect of you that has left that's being triggered in that moment. So you're being triggered and it's like sometimes people talk about like the reptilian brain and like these types of things. And it's kind of like you're being triggered and then you're going to react out of the trauma. That's kind of like the beginning preliminary stages. And it's like, then you kind of get to the point where it's like you have enough awareness. It's like peeling off the onion. You have enough awareness. And like the earlier stages of that awareness, it's like you're still blaming another person. So at least you're recognizing something's off, but you're not aware that it's like your own issue. Okay. That's kind of like the earlier stages. You're you're externalizing. That's the way that I used to explain it. It's like you're externalizing the problem. You're saying it's this person that's the fault, whatever it is. Then you kind of get, you know, a little bit more and more in tune and you're like, oh, okay, there's a pattern here. It's every Wednesday or every time this happens or every time whatever so it's kind of like you kind of have to keep like peeling off the layers until you get to like the root cause and this is why a lot of the time in my videos I'm always using these trigger words basically bring your guys's attention to what it possibly could be because usually it has something to do either with the abandonment wound that's the biggest one okay it's gonna usually trigger codependency and these types of things or it could do anything with the lower three chakras which I've talked about several times and you guys can check out those videos where I've went a little bit more in depth I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details now because I've gone over it so many times so there's like collective wounds that are in the in the collective and it's like these wounds get triggered and a lot of the time it's like you have to integrate them because it's like it's triggered because you experience something traumatic where you left your body that's the thing anytime you experience something traumatic you leave your body and it's almost like a soul fragment has left so now it's a matter of grasping that okay and bringing it back and integrating it that's why i'm saying i'm like i don't know how much i believe in walk-ins or is the question you know at play here that that's just like you being fully integrated and you being fully yourself that's the whole thing to understand. It's like, again, certain people who are in certain areas in this world, okay, you guys are going to catch my drift, really orchestrate certain events to basically traumatize people, scare them and shock them. Because like you go into this trauma fear when you're shocked. And the biggest difference between us and animals is that animals shake it off. They start shaking. Anytime they experience something scary or traumatic, they shake it off. We don't shake it off, right? We either leave the body, okay, or we suppress it within us. And it's a matter of pulling that out. So a really good indicator to know what's going on is going to be your triggers, okay? Your triggers are going to be very much showing you what area of healing you have to do and you have to basically work on. And it's like, you're never really gonna be fully healed, okay? You can get to a point where it's like, and this is really tied into karma as well. I talked about this in the karma video as well. So I'll put that somewhere in here so you guys can check that out if you're interested. But you're never gonna be fully healed, but it's like, you can at least get to the point where it's like you have the triggers on lock and, and you know you're being triggered. It's kind of like, okay, I'm being triggered right now, but I'm not gonna react. Because usually what does happen is when people react on a trigger, it puts you into a downward spiral, if that makes sense. Because then you're like, oh, I shouldn't have reacted that way. And then it's like even more emotions are coming to the surface and all these sorts of things. And you want to heal that, right? You want to integrate and heal that. So that's really what that is, okay? So because people have soul fragments, they're split. This is sometimes how, like I was mentioning, you might have multiple personalities come out because multiple personalities coming out of people are different entities who are operating out of the person. Now, this goes into an even bigger metaphysical picture, okay? So these entities that are like wandering around, okay, basically have been kicked out of the life wave, okay? So this is going to be a little bit more of an esoteric, more complex topic, but basically it's kind of like we all come to the earth plane because we have the karma to clear and we have something to learn here. A lot of us are trapped in a karmic loop, in a karmic cycle, whatever it is. Check out the karma video. I go more in depth as to what I mean by that. But it's like there's a certain progression of the soul. After you master certain lessons, you progress, okay? You go on to the next place. We want to go into the progression cycle, the organic evolution. You want to evolve as a soul. There's people who come here and they think that basically they can do whatever they want. Okay. Again, some of you guys are going to catch my drift. And these people who think that they can do whatever they want, a lot of them have been manipulating energy for a long period of time. So basically what happens to them is that's why they're so obsessed with the whole concept of immortality. Okay. Because they don't want to die because they know if they cross out, they don't get to go into the natural ascension. This is what ascension is. The natural ascension cycle, they go into a descension cycle. So they go to somewhere that's worse than earth because they still have to basically pay off the karma that they're due. So they go somewhere even worse, a worse planet, a worse school, however way, shape or form you want to look at it. Okay. This is why it's like, there's so much happening on a multidimensional level. So basically what these people do is 
they, when they cross out, they catch them on the astral plane, okay? And as I'm saying this, I know it sounds wild, but this is really what's happening metaphysically. They catch them on the astral plane and they recycle that soul, okay? So they don't really cross out, they keep recycling. So there's a certain group of people that are constantly being recycled because they don't want to actually cross out because when they cross out, then in that case, they basically have to go somewhere and actually work out the karma because they're basically in like a descension cycle, okay? A degradation cycle, these types of things. So we talk about entities, right? These entities are people, okay, or souls or beings, okay, however way, shape, or form. They're not actually people because they're not physical, but they're souls that are trapped, okay, in the in-between phase because they haven't done the level of work to ascend out of here, right? But they're actually not able to incarnate back into a body because of the fact that, again, they've done certain things that it's like you, you just can't come back into the body. So they're kind of stuck in this in-between phase. So they're just like looming around. They're just like floating around. So that's why they, they want to temporarily come into the human, right? They cause chaos. This is how you're going to know. Anytime in your life where there's chaos being caused, there's an entity around. And you're going to notice a lot of the time, and this is why you need to become super, super aware, because it's like a lot of the time you're having a good time with your friends or your family or whoever's with you. It's fun time. And all of a sudden an argument breaks out. That's the chaos being caused. That's those, uh, to me, they're like mosquitoes on the astral plane. They're like little mosquitoes floating around waiting to poke at you. And basically the way they poke at you, the way that they actually operate is they come into your vessel, into that trigger, right? They trigger that trigger. And then like they feed off of that because that's their food, if that makes sense. So I know it's getting a little bit intense in this video, but I hope you guys are following and catching my drift. If you're not, maybe it's going to make sense at a different time, but that's what's happening. So that's why you need to become integrated. And that's why you need to basically, you know, focus on healing and integrating the self because it's like when these entities are floating around, they're looking for whatever your weakness is and they're looking for whatever your triggers are or for whatever the wound is. And then they poke at that and then you react. That's really what's happening. It's like you react. That's why you have a lot of people who are walking around. They have entities attached to them, right? The entities are attached because the entity wants to have the human experience, but they can't come back into the, into the vessel because they've fallen out of that life wave. Okay, that's really what it is. The ascension cycle, they've fallen out of that, right? They're just kind of like, almost like, I'm sure you've seen in movies when you have like ghosts that are trapped. It's kind of like this concept, okay? So they're trapped. They're neither here nor there. They can't ascend. They can't go anywhere. So they basically try to attach onto the human to live through the human. And it's like, you'll notice anytime the human is doing anything that's like detrimental or self-sabotage or anything of the sort where they're like spiraling, that's usually an entity attached to the person. You're going to notice this a lot in terms of like addiction. That's always going to be entities. So you need to be very, very careful in terms of, again, substances and substance abuse because that opens you up. That opens you up energetically. And it's like, because your aura is open, the entity can come through. The only way the entity can come through is if you have some sort of wound and they're going to feed on that wound. That's why sometimes people, let's say, have like an inner critic. That's probably going to be an entity. It's feeding on a wound that's already there. So maybe, I don't know, when you were growing up, you had a parent or parents that were very critical of you and you have this wound now. And it's like, that's why sometimes it gets louder and louder because they know, like, it's like, that's kind of just like what, what's happening on the astral plane, okay? It's really what that is. So this is really what soul fragments are. You want to be able to fully integrate yourself, okay? Fully get to the point. And it's funny because all of the religious scriptures are trying to teach this, except people are just like so in intense into religion and it's like they can't see anything other than like what's being said to them. And like the one of the wounds in the collective is like people are obsessed with being led and they don't know how to lead themselves. That's solar plexus. You got to heal that solar plexus. So it's like you got to be able to think for yourself and you got to be able to lead yourself. And people are always looking for some kind of leader. We're coming out of that energy now. Everyone is coming to a point where they lead themselves. We make videos like this to, you know, basically spark thought. I'm not saying it's the end all and be all. This is just things that I've seen psychically. So maybe it's going to resonate. Maybe it's not going to resonate, you know? And it's like, you know, unfortunately, because it's been a very narcissistic plane up until this point, the people who were more aware have taken advantage of this. And that's kind of how like cults and these types of things have developed because that's another human wound. People wanting to be led all the time and not knowing how to lead and guide themselves. So that's the thing, okay? The biggest thing you can really do is focus on healing, integrating, staying away from substances. And that's what I was saying about the religion. So the religious scriptures all of them, okay? I've read a lot of them. them. I actually have book recommendations for people. It's more so the esoteric side of religion, not so much like the intensity of what it is today. But yeah, the actual spiritual roots of all religion are trying to heal people and tell people, come out of the lower chakras, come out of the lower wounding. We're trying to go into the higher chakras to ascend, okay? They're trying to teach people how to get out of this plane. It's really ultimately what they're all saying in one way, shape, or form. You know, it's going to have different words, different terminologies, different types of like esoteric meanings and different methods and things you can use. But this is really what most religions or theology, like the roots of it, the spiritual roots of it, we're teaching people, okay? It's really, this is really what they're teaching. They're teaching people how to get in tune with themselves, how to actually learn to trust themselves, how to trust their psychic gifts, all these sorts of things. It's just like, we've gotten to the point where people have been so trauma 
traumatized from certain events and it's been so passed down where it's like now a huge healing is starting to take place so we can get out of the earth plane this is really what the ascension is and that's why a lot of people who are in these other positions okay who are trapped as i was saying to you guys grasping souls on the astral and like recycling them because they don't want to face their karma they're worried because they're empty vessels in a way and they're trying to feed off the light beings which is most of humanity if you really look at it so a lot of the time when you have people behaving in a type of way that's like because there's like a root to the human there's a root to the soul and there's a purity to the soul and most humans are good i would say good natured anytime you have someone behaving outside of this there is some sort of entity attached to them and the entity is operating through them so it's kind of like that's why like back in the day like even in indigenous cultures they used to have basically kind of like if someone's behaving like out of pocket they would basically all come together and help this person integrate in one way shape or form i don't know what exactly they did but that's kind of like the concept of it okay so that's really what's happening and it's funny because it's like we've come so far from that where it's like you know people look at things when they talk about exorcisms and like these types of things as something so old-fashioned but it's very prevalent on the earth plane and i want to say now more than ever okay it's very prevalent on the earth plane especially because we're in a spiritual WAR. So I hope you guys are catching my drift. As I mentioned, if you're not, it might make sense at a different time, but that's kind of what's happening. So it's like, this is really what soul fragments are. We really, really want to focus on healing and we really want to focus on integrating. You know, I can't stress it enough. Okay, you want to heal, you want to integrate, you, become, you want to become aware, you want to become aware of your triggers and you want to basically get to the point where it's like, you're not putting yourself in a circumstance or a state where your guard is being put down energetically. Okay, this is energetically in terms of, again, substances, all these sorts of things but it's kind of like you know that's like a journey of the soul on its own where it's like you come into the earth plane and it's like right from birth you're being thrown all these things at you it's, it's made out to be cool and you want to do these things and blah 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 right but it's like even if you do get sucked into it and trapped into it for a while it's enough awareness that you learn to come out of that that's what transcending is that's what ascending is that's really what we're trying to do here we're trying to heal integrate you know keep ourselves strong spiritually and energetically and not allow the crack in the aura for the entities to come through because there's a lot of entities floating around and it's going to become more and more prevalent you know you're going to see it more and more because the veil is so thin okay it's amazing because it's like i've been teaching these topics probably for a while now and it was in person for me in the beginning and it was funny because i remember when i was teaching it in person i'm like i don't care this is my truth i'm just gonna keep talking and it's like people were like what is this girl talking about literally years okay literally like 2012 for me was when i first started learning about these types of things and becoming more aware i was always psychic but that's the thing so it's like now people are more open to it which is great because now i can talk even more openly and i'm like okay you guys are going to catch my drift and it's great but it's like we're going into even more awareness right to the point where it's like the veil is going to be so thin that you're actually going to be able to see this within people you're going to see the entity sometimes come out through them you'll see it in their eyes the eyes are always going to tell you what's going on with the person and it's like you'll see the shifts because it's like you'll you'll notice maybe you even notice now when it's like when someone gets triggered you almost see the shift in their demeanor in their face like in the way it's like not them it's not their divine version it's an entity that's operating through them that's really what the narcissistic energy is I've, I've touched on that in my narcissistic video or like metaphysics about narcissism or something like that i'll put that in the comments probably below as well so you guys can check that out if you're interested but that's really what it is okay that's really what it is i know it might be a lot to unpack but whatever if anything is seed planting and that's really what's going on so it's like you really have to integrate you have to heal you have to look at your life you have to basically like take things that have happened to you and it's like integrate them that's the only way that i can explain it you have to integrate you have to accept it you have to integrate you have to go through the grieving process it takes a while it takes a while right it depends what point in your journey you're in and like the sooner you start the better because it's going to be easier for you because then you're not going to repeat the pattern because it's kind of like we come here and it's like you keep repeating the pattern and it's like because you keep repeating the pattern you're stuck in that loop that i talked about in the karma video so i'm gonna wrap up this video here i hope you guys enjoyed my video on soul fragments and other things that i've mentioned in here but if there's anything else you guys want to know about you guys can always let me know in the comments below i'll share what i know about it and it's kind of like this is the whole thing here we're sharing right we're sharing information and we're activating each other with this information that's what's going on right now we're moving out of the age of the guru okay that's important to understand so never fall into an energy where you're following someone because we're coming out of that everyone's becoming their own guru and that's the whole thing that's literally what all of these ascended masters who came down to earth were trying to teach us is really what it is okay they're trying to teach us that it's like you yourself can come into this energy where you're so connected and it's like you have the information channeling through you and you're able to you know act accordingly and Instead of you know going to someone to tell you what to do in these types of things or like you know again cult-like followings and these types of things so with that i'm going to wrap up this video as i mentioned let me know in the comments below if you guys like the video you can like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day